So I'm doing something totally different today. <clears throat> I'm actually going to do a catch and cook on the lake video, hopefully. I just want to catch two or three crappies. Um, clean them, cook them on the lake here. It could totally, absolutely, mega, massively fail because I've never cooked on the lake. I have a tiny propane stove with a skillet. Um, yeah, I mean, this could just end up very poorly happening. Um, I don't even know if I got everything, you know. Got some butter, got some ham to spray down the pan with. Um, yeah, I don't know. First things first, let's catch a fish or two. Well, to get this party started, I'm going to show you. I'm actually using a, this is a three millimeter Valentine jig with a small red viper on it. I got a couple split shots. My 36 inch light action Yogi custom rod. 13 long stem reel and four pound, I think this is Berkeley winter line. And it's my new flasher. You guys, no, a few of you guys have mentioned it in videos because I have I did have my uh, my Hummingbird Ice 45, but it, it died on me. So I am still sending that in to get fixed, but I got this uh, LX6 on the lithium shuttle. And I tell you what, that lithium shuttle is worth every dollar, you guys. It's ridiculous. Um, today we're fishing, oh, 19, 20 feet, somewhere around there on this lake outside edge of a basin and we're gonna try to catch it's crappy or four or three or seven or whatever There are a bunch of fish down there, right off the bottom. Oh, there it's 20 feet here. They're there, 20, 21 feet here. There. There's one. I highly doubt that this is a crappie. In fact, I would bet that this is going to be a bass. But if it is a crappie, oh boy. Trying to get my new strap a hole here. Oh. Sure, I can't catch a crappie, but I can get a bass or whatever the heck this is. Okay, um, this is not a bass. Um, this is a walleye. What in the heck are you doing out here? Uh, and to top it all off, you're biting on a Wow, look at that. Um, well, I guess it's a little early in the season for that. Ha! I gotta, I gotta put you back in the water right away here, buddy. Huh. Well, that was weird. I was expecting a crappie or a bass, not a walleye. Huh. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna change jigs quick. See if I can get a more aggressive fish. All right. I'm switching to a four millimeter Valentine jig and this one inch minnow. It's made over there at Three Northern Jigs. I'm gonna see if these crappies might be a little more aggressive today with the warmer weather. Let's hope. Mm. Here's a crop, y'all bet. That feels like a crappie. You come out of the come out of the school pretty good too. Yeah, there we go. Hey, look at that. We got one. Well, if I can get it out of the hole anyway. Here's a nice one. See, that's about a ten and a half incher probably. That is exactly what we want to catch and eat. Hey, well, switch to that bigger presentation, the minnow. 
worked. We're gonna we're gonna try to catch three crappies here, and we'll. There's another crappie. I'll bet. Oh, oh, there's a crappie. Gosh, that one's... He's probably 11 and a half inches. So we can still keep him. It's not like he's too big. They get much bigger than that, and they really aren't that good at eating. You know, and and you keep the bigger ones, you know, it, it takes the, you know, like, you know, I'd say 12, 12, 12 and up. You know, it takes away the, the genetics of the lake, of the big fish. If you ever want to plan on making a or helping a lake keep the genetics of big fish let let the big ones go i know you guys can keep anything you want i know how that goes don't worry i'm not hating on anyone for keeping a small or bigger fish but it helps your fishery there he is i came back you guys he came back there he is there's our there's our third push to cook here we go this one here's about middle size now I guess this one's probably a little bit bigger than that one maybe no about the same size and then this one here's a little bit bigger than both of them all right we have got our food now let's clean them up all right just gonna Clean these three crappies quick. Go right down the back there, guys. You do this enough times and it, you know, it becomes second nature, pretty much. Gonna set that off to the side, and then the fillets. Take the skin off of them, and a lot of people don't take them out. I take them out every single time. I'm set this also right. I'm, don't worry, I'm not leaving these here. I'm just setting them off to the side. But right here in the crappie is actually bones. See that? Those are bones, pin bones. You get one of those stuck in your gum or in the back of your throat, or your kids do, you're going to have problems. Always take those out. That little, little piece of bone right there. Anyway, that's how you uh, clean them. You get them ready. Alright guys. I'm just going to clean these off with a little bit of water. Um, yes, this is perfectly good water from the store but um, I didn't have a water bottle on me at the time so I'm just going to clean them off the best I can All right, you guys. So here's my setup. Got the cap for my got the cap for my Eskimo auger out there with some napkins in it. I just have a one of those copper pans. My little propane stove here, the one pound bottle on it. I haven't used this in about a year, so hopefully it even turns on. Got my crappies here. I just cleaned them off with some water. You seen that? Um, you know, I'm pretty simple. I uh, work. In the dirt all summer long and I've eaten sandwiches covered in dirt so yeah so all I have here is some frying magic which I love you can just buy it at the box I do also like to use like flour 
put some spices in it you know or I also like I mean there's there's obviously you guys all know there's tons of different kinds there's batter there's whatever you want anyway I'll just shake them up in there a little bit to get this going maybe what do you think think it'll work Hopefully I can fit all six fillets in here. If I can't, don't worry about it. I'll uh, I'll manage. So I have a little bit of Pam here. I'm just gonna. Sp I like to spray the pan down quick. And I'm a fat kid, so I like butter or parquet, anything that's butter flavored. So I'm gonna put some butter in here. Got my spatula. Put a little curve in there. Makes it easier when you want to uh, flip those fish. Normally, the way I, I do it is I like to put a little uh, peanut oil in the bottom of the pan. But I didn't have any on hand or anything in a jug, so I figured I'd do it this way. And it's, you know, obviously if there's more, you know, if there's more people here too, I could come a little more prepared. But as the way things are going right now, I'm doing pretty good. So I showed up, caught fish, cleaned the fish, and they are, they are officially cooking right now. There we go. Had to turn the heat up a little bit, that's all. Now I like to I like my fish to be nice and golden brown and crispy. I don't like soggy fish. I mean it happens, but I don't like it. Oops. It's gonna be a tricky part. I'm gonna flip these buggers over. It's always the tricky part with fish. Ooh, that's definitely a golden brown on the bottom. Turn my heat down a little bit. I'm afeard. I'll do that quick. Oops. Sorry, they're home slice. You're not gonna. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. You're good. You're good. These guys here are done. Put my little bowl over here. They're nice and brown on the bottom. These guys here, let's see. I think they are off the heat a little bit. So we're just going to put them over here for a few minutes. I know they're cooked through all the way. But I like them to be crispy. See, I got my crappie here. I've got a fork. I'm not that, that savage. Sure I am. It's nice and crispy. And golden brown on both sides. You can see that. Mm. That is fantastic. Mmm. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> I'm going to gain like 50 pounds. But I don't care. Mmm, that's good. Well, you guys. This turned out better than I thought it would. I mean, even I've never done nothing like this before, 
metal stove and the pan, all that, the knife, fish bit, you know. As you guys seen, it was kind of cool. I caught a bonus walleye. <clears throat> They're out of season, of course, so I threw it right back. You know, but it's kind of neat catching that fish out here also. <clears throat> Knowing a season is coming up here in about a month. We'll probably be ice fishing for it anyway. I know it's scary. That's probably going to make people mad saying that, but hey, could be the truth. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, stuff I usually saw. I got. Uh, I did start with that three millimeter jig, but I missed a couple of fish on it, and it see it, it turns or turns out I switched to a four millimeter jig with that one inch pink soft plastic, and the fish were just loving that. So fishing 19, 20 feet of water here. Um, fish were, you know, a few feet off the bottom. They they haven't moved up yet all the way, obviously, but uh, yeah, cool, cool. If you guys uh, like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.